The fountain of youth could be here, in this village, where people routinely live into their 90s, never sick a day in their lives. Cancer, Alzheimer's, even wrinkles are rare, and no one seems to worry about their health. What's their secret? Mm, it tastes like a bamboo shoot. Not bad. But can you get the same benefits in a pill? Connie Chung with secrets from the village of long life. So how would you like to be 100 years old without any aches or pains, without disease or without any sign of dementia? It sounds pretty good. And believe it or not, there is a place where that might be possible. Connie Chung has found it and went to pay a visit. This is Yuzurihara, Japan, a small mountainous village two hours outside of Tokyo. Hidden in these hills may just be the secret to a long, healthy life. Tadano Takahashi believes he knows the secret. And who could argue with him? After all, he's 93 years old. At this village karaoke party, there are plenty more who believe in this secret. Yuzurihara is a place where 90-year-olds are practically commonplace and where more than 10% of the population is 85 or older. That's 10 times our national norm. What is not common is disease. Cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's are virtually unheard of here. Do you ever remember being sick? No, I do not. Mr. Takashi, I can't help but notice that you're smoking. How long have you been smoking? I've been smoking since I was 25. Mr. Takahashi, has anyone said to you, you really ought to quit smoking? No one has told me that. Even the doctors have no reason to tell me to stop smoking because I've never had anything wrong with my lungs. And Mr. Takahashi is not alone. His neighbor goes through a pack and a half a day. I've been smoking for 60 years. I've never even thought about quitting. A local doctor who still practices is 80 as is the local innkeeper, but neither look or act like senior citizens. Nor do these ball players. The average age of this group is 82. This village may look like just an average Japanese town, but some medical researchers believe it may actually hold the key to the fountain of youth. They discovered that people here routinely live into their 90s and beyond, rarely have any reason to go see a doctor, and somehow have managed to prevent even their skin from aging. What's behind this secret phenomenon? I feel very strongly that if I had not come here to Yuzurihara, I would not have lived this long and healthy a life. I probably would have died from some adult disease. It is Dr. Komori's theory that what the villagers eat gives them an abundance of a substance called hyaluronic acid, more than most of us have in our bodies. HA, as it is called, is something we're all born with but lose as we get older. In our bodies, HA enables cells to retain moisture. It keeps our joints lubricated and our skin smooth and elastic. The same qualities Dr. Komori finds in these spry, smooth-skinned villagers. I have never seen anyone suffer from skin cancer here. I have seen a woman in her 90s with a spotless skin. Mr. Takahashi attributes his smooth skin, even after working 50 years in the sun, to sticking to the local traditional diet. The skin on his arms felt like a baby's, and the skin on his legs barely had a wrinkle. Some of what Mr. Takahashi eats is on the menu every day at a hotel in Yuzurihara. The innkeeper, Mrs. Ishii, is 80 and looks pretty good herself. She offers us a variety of local vegetables and starches that are the backbone of the diet here. Obviously, all of us want to know what this food tastes like, right? This is a root vegetable that's made into a jelly, dipping it in soy sauce. Oh, that's awful. This is miso. It's a soybean paste. Mmm, very pungent. I don't think you'd like this. So the question is, if this is the ticket to longevity, would you eat it every day? I don't think so. To get around that, 
One of Japan's leading pharmaceutical companies is trying to say it doesn't take a village to live longer. They are putting HA in pills, which in Japan sell for about $25 for a month's supply. The company tested the pills on a thousand people. Roughly half reported smoother skin, less fatigue, and better eyesight. But we kept asking ourselves, just how real is this? We studied 18 hours. So we traveled to Great Britain, where HA experts, respected scientists and physicians from 23 countries, gathered to discuss the marvels of HA. Western medicine is just beginning to understand the full potential of HA. For years, HA has been used in eye surgery as a shock absorber to protect the retina. In a gel form, HA is proven effective in lubricating arthritic joints. And its ability to restore moisture and elasticity to tissues is a big reason why cosmetic companies have put HA in moisturizers for years. But these scientists believe that the most dramatic discoveries of HA's healing powers are just around the corner. Discussions here focused on HA's ability to regenerate the cells in our bodies. Here in the United States, doctors have been giving hyaluronic acid to patients since 1997. So we're going to do the left knee. Dr. David Altchek, a leading orthopedic surgeon, says in some cases, the HA injections have delayed the need for patients to undergo radical knee replacement surgery. You're going to feel pinch and then pressure. The results can be astonishing in terms of reducing the symptoms, improving their quality of life. Strangely, the mohawk crown on a chicken's head is chock full of hyaluronic acid. The combs are washed, sliced, and purified in an extremely sterile environment. But if you doubt that it's the diet keeping these Japanese villagers young, consider this. Since Western-style junk food infiltrated Uzurihara a few years ago, heart disease here has doubled, creating what the Japanese call the upside-down death pyramid, in which adults die before their parents. 91-year-old Fuji Shiratori has outlived two of her six children. Although my children ate what I had been eating while they were young and lived here, but when they moved away, they chose to eat differently. The stone tablet at the entrance to Yuzurihara proclaims it to be the village of long life. It would be impossible to conclude that the phenomenon here is just a matter of diet alone. The elderly here follow a time-honored blueprint for good health. Exercise, low stress, and a healthy diet. But if someday it can be proven that their longevity is a result of an abundance of HA in their system, well, maybe, just maybe, there's hope for the rest of us. I assume that I should have come here when I was a teenager to start eating the diet in order to enjoy the fountain of youth that you're enjoying. Is that correct? No, it's not too late. Therefore, if you practice the secret you learn here, I'm sure that you could live a very long time. So the other one is young tissue extract. This is the second ingredient in Eglixir. When I was first prescribing this a few years back, I would notice that people were, were coming back to me and they were, I was helping them, helping them with their musculoskeletal problems and other aches and pains and even hormone-related conditions with uh, the young tissue extract. Um, but I would always notice and see that their, their skin was much brighter, much fresher. So I could tell when someone was taking a product. So that's what prompted me to add the other ingredient, which is the exceptional high out star or the hyaluronic acid. Tonight we have a story about a controversial treatment for cancer invented by a Winnipeg doctor. It's not new. In fact, Dr. John Davidson used it on hundreds of patients decades ago. What is new is that some 50 years after the doctor's death, more than half a century after his theories were dismissed as quackery, scientists are rekindling the flame of his research. With more on the legendary cancer doctor, here's CTV's medical specialist, Avis Favreau. His 
His name was John Ralston Davidson, a respected family doctor in Winnipeg in the early 1900s. A great scientist, as well as a great doctor. And this is Leslie Gurney Bishop, now 88, a journalist who documented Dr. Davidson's controversial treatment for cancer. He never claimed that it cured it, but he said it would arrest it. Davidson spent years studying cancer, writing medical articles on his theories, which in hindsight were remarkable for his time. The doctor described cancer as a dietary deficiency, so he added generous amounts of vitamins to the patient's diet. But he also said it was critical to boost the patient's own defenses against cancer, which is why he developed what he called young tissue extract. Davidson took fertilized hen's eggs just nine days old and produced a powdered extract, which was then injected into patients with various forms of terminal cancer. Like this boy, diagnosed with lymphatic cancer, notes show that with surgery, vitamins, and the extract, he returned to normal health. Over the years, Dr. Davidson treated hundreds of cancer patients. They all said, the ones I interviewed, all said that it had benefited them tremendously. Some said they were cured. Ruth Burke's father was one of Davidson's more famous patients. Harry Leader, the Member of Parliament for Portage La Prairie, had been diagnosed with terminal bowel cancer by the Mayo Clinic in the U.S. But under Davidson's treatment, he improved. It was controversial scientifically, but that really didn't affect Dad. He, he believed in it. But Davidson's medical colleagues thought the treatment was useless and repeatedly refused him research money. It's as though they'd been instructed by somebody, well, just uh, tear him up, you know, just tear him up. And they did. Frustrated with the lack of support, Harry Leader, with his own good health as proof, took Davidson's pleas for funding straight to Ottawa in 1944, directly to Prime Minister Mackenzie King. He never wanted any publicity from this. He simply wanted help for this man whom he felt could help humanity. The Prime Minister refused to fund Davidson's work. The doctor died four years later. He would die uh, pretty well of a broken heart, if you know what I mean, because he had not been recognized. His cancer treatment thought to have died with him. But then six years ago, the treatment was rediscovered by a Toronto company. It hired researchers at Dalhousie University to test the theory. Could these embryonic chicken cells really be a cancer treatment? When research began, there was excitement. Davidson's extract, in many ways, could be a cancer vaccine. In three studies on mice, the compound apparently shrunk tumors. You have to be careful about raising people's hopes. Jonathan Blay is one of the researchers looking at the revived young tissue extract. Davidson's extract, in many ways, could be a cancer vaccine. There could be things in the extract that promote a response against the cancer. But then suddenly, the research stopped. The then owners of the extract had financial problems. They stopped paying the researchers. Dalhousie was out some $60,000 and halted the experiments. The university would be interested in continuing the work because the results were very promising. But for nearly five years now, the capsules have simply laid on the shelf. One could easily walk away from and say, to heck with it. But would we be leaving behind something that could potentially have significant impact for large numbers of people? But if there are no takers soon, the venture will die. A darn shame, says Dr. Bain, because we still won't have the answer. Was Dr. Davidson right? But if Dr. Davidson's extract does show the power to combat cancer... This could be not only one of the great human victories in overcoming disease, but it could also be one of the great human tragedies. A tragedy because for the last 50 years, a possible cancer treatment and its pioneer were forgotten. Avis Favreau, CTV News, Toronto. Uh, and the third ingredient that goes into Eglipsa uh, is called astaxanthin. Now, astaxanthin is another extract. It's always good to get the rawest form of, of these ingredients. And astaxanthin is an extract from algae. And just to give you some idea of the importance of this ingredient, 
astaxanthin is the world's strongest antioxidant. So when we run, train, walk, move about, get injured, or are trying to repair in our bodies, we go through a process of oxidation, even breathing. So oxidation is the breakdown process that's within the body. If you have an antioxidant, you're going to help combat that breakdown process. An easy analogy I always give to people is, it's a bit like rust on a bike, that's oxidation, the breakdown process. To reverse it, you have an antioxidant. The world's most powerful one is astaxanthin. It's actually 5,000 times more powerful than vitamin C. 800 times more powerful than CoQ10. 550 times more powerful than um, green tea. So it has an amazing healing properties. There's been studies on the effects of skin with astaxanthin and also reducing fine lines and wrinkles. The effects on eyes. It's amazing for your eye health and also recovery before and after sport for training. The company who have made the most research studies on astaxanthin is called uh, Astoreal, and they have done more studies than anyone. They were one of the first companies to um, start to bring in astaxanthin and the extraction from algae and, and put it into supplements. The anti-aging benefits of astaxanthin are backed by clinical studies. Results continue to appear in peer-reviewed journals which attract the attention of health professionals and consumers worldwide. Moreover, the evidence strongly advocates the safe and efficacious use of Astoreal, the most clinically studied brand in the world. The following is a brief introduction. Astaxanthin is active in all layers of the skin providing protection against premature aging and resulting in youthful, healthier skin. Clinical studies show improved moisture levels, the reduction of age spots, and photo-induced wrinkles. In this example, a randomized placebo-controlled study of 49 women showed that 4 mg of Astoreal daily for 6 weeks improved skin elasticity, firmness, and wrinkles. Eye fatigue is prevalent among users of visual displays. This is also known as computer vision syndrome and affects the accommodation function of the eye. Clinical studies show that astaxanthin improved accommodation function, reduced ocular inflammation, and improved blood circulation. In this example, a placebo-controlled trial with CVS sufferers showed improved accommodation function after taking 6 mg of astoreal daily for 4 weeks. Cardiovascular disease is still the leading cause of mortality in the world. Many risk factors contribute to that, and astaxanthin has been shown to reduce certain risk factors. Clinical studies showed improved blood lipid profile, reduction of oxidative stress, and improved capillary circulation. In this example, a placebo-controlled trial with 61 mildly dyslipidemic subjects showed significant reduction of triglyceride levels and increased HDL cholesterol, taking 12 mg of Astoreal daily for 12 weeks. Muscle performance is important for all people, whether they are looking to maintain a healthy and active lifestyle or for elite athletes. Research has shown that astaxanthin contributes to better performance, lower lactic acid buildup, reduced muscle damage, and more. In this placebo-controlled trial, 14 subjects were able to finish the 20-kilometer bicycle time trial on average two minutes faster compared to the placebo group after four weeks of four milligrams of astoreal daily intake. Brain health is also a serious age-related concern. Cognitive decline is a natural slowing down of the brain's performance. Early clinical studies show that astaxanthin can improve brain performance, improve the flow and antioxidant status of blood, and reduce oxidative stress. In this example, a randomized placebo-controlled trial with 96 elderly subjects complaining of forgetfulness 
showed significant improvements under standardized testing conditions after 12 weeks of 12 milligrams of astaxanthin daily intake. Efficacy is nothing without safety. As the most studied brand of astaxanthin, we also have confidence that people can enjoy the benefits safely. This information is but only a glimpse into the potential health benefits. So I, I do know, for example, that um, the Swiss national skiing team, they use astaxanthin as part of their recovery process. All these ingredients are organic and uh, naturally occurring and are allowed in sport. So um, although this helps so many ailments, musculoskeletal and even works on some of the hormonal system. I, I want to emphasize that it's brilliant for sport before and after. It will help protect the joints because of the moisturization of the exceptional IL and the recovery because of the astaxanthin and the building process because of the human tissue extract. So the combination is an absolute winner and uh, people who come to see me have tried it, they all report the same thing. The Skin Enhancement Challenge. So the Skin Enhancement Challenge involves you just taking a product after a few days and sometimes even on the day, you can even on two or four capsules, you're gonna see dramatic or really good improvement in your skin tone. Um, you look brighter, healthier, fresher. You, obviously you're not gonna get less lines in a, in a day or two, but you, know, you will notice that your skin becomes more supple or moisturised which will help the elasticity long term. And especially if you're in warmer climates, it's an amazing protection for you.